Namaste. I'm Christina with Jai Bhakti Yoga and Jai Bhakti Yoga Foundation. For this video, we're going to be working on the fullness of breath. Traditionally in yoga, we connect the breath to the motion. We link the breath to the movement of the practice. You'll find at times in your practice, depending on the challenging poses or however challenging they are, or if you're moving quickly, that your breath doesn't necessarily keep up with you. And at times you need to come down and take a break or take child's pose or take a step back. In this video, we're working with the conscious breath pattern. We begin by noticing, take your hands, place them on your ribs, and just close your eyes. Notice how you're breathing naturally. Does your belly rise? Does your chest expand? Or is the chest lifting? Is the belly stationary? Now typically, when we inhale, the ribs expand, the diaphragm expands, or it drops down. We become full, full with breath. When we exhale, your belly button draws slightly in, your ribs come in, you contract. Traditionally in yoga, we just expand on that breath. When you inhale, the ribs expand, the chest rises, the belly rises. And what happens when we do this, we get into a little bit of a backbend. Remember in the other video when we talked about backbending, that when the ribs expand and lifts the chest, and when the chest lifts, it creates a backbend in the spine. But this also draws the diaphragm down. On the exhalation, we draw the belly button in, we contract the spine, or we contract the ribs, and then from here, the natural length of the spine returns. Now on a deep exhalation, the diaphragm will lift up as opposed to dropping down. And we can practice that together. When you inhale, again, go ahead and expand nice and full. But now take a very deep exhale and really contract, hollow out the belly, and notice that diaphragm lifts up into the ribs. So your spine is erect. There is no curve in the spine when you are in a deep exhalation. When you inhale, that's when you'll get a natural arch of your spine and everything opens up here. When you exhale deeply, you draw the belly button in and the diaphragm then lifts. Exhale and inhale, inhale and exhale. So as we practice this breath, it is challenging to work on the fullness of the breath. Do not be discouraged. It takes time. I've been practicing yoga since 2007 and I still find challenges with my own breath in my own practice. Because sometimes we get distracted because we want to get into the pose. But a key principle for your yoga practice is to not let yourself compromise the breath to get into the pose. You would like to have your body open up and receive that pose naturally than to force yourself into a position that does not serve you especially if you're compromising the breath. So we focus on breathing, the expansion and the contraction through the asana practice so that you can feel how the body moves consciously with the practice of the asana. And maybe that becomes your intention going forward for your practice on the mat. For those of us that struggle with knees bent in any seated position and then try to breathe when the instructor asks you to sit in meditation and breathe, I would suggest using a block and sitting on a block to elevate the hips, which tilts the pelvic floor forward slightly, which creates more space in the abdomen for you to breathe. From here, you can notice your diaphragm lifting and lowering when you're coming into conscious breath. I hope this video helps a little bit with the breathing pattern and connecting and linking the breath to the motion and 
ultimately coming into the fullness of your breath. We'll later discuss pranayama and we'll introduce a series of videos that speak on specific uh, breath work patterns to incorporate into your yoga practice. For now, focus on just breathing naturally and noticing the expansion and the contraction, the lifting and lowering of the diaphragm, and implementing these practices in your twisting, your back bending, and your forward folding. I'm Christina with Jai Bhakti Yoga and Jai Bhakti Yoga Foundation. Please follow us on Instagram at Jai Bhakti Yoga and Jai Bhakti Yoga LLC. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, ask questions. We'll be more than happy to provide information to better serve you and your yoga journey. Namaste.